Hey everyone, my name is James McCool. I'm the co-author of The Theory of DFS with Jordan Cooper. Today we're going to be talking about a quick tutorial on how to set up and use the portfolio trimmer. Um, this is the second tutorial that we are setting up for this, uh, and that is because this tool has some updated functionality. So we're going to go over how to set it up, and then we're going to go over how to use it and why you are using it. So you're going to need at most three things here. You're going to need to insert your lineups, you're going to need to insert your projections, and you might need to insert a contest CSV if you are uploading lineups from either Fantasy Labs or SaberSim. So in order to up insert your lineups, first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to clear them, and then you're going to need to go to your lineups file. You're going to want to copy them all, go up here into cell A2, right click, and then paste them in. Uh, then you're going to need to do the same thing with your projections, where you're going to clear them, and then go over to your projections file. And what I always suggest now, after a couple of sport tickets, is copying just the columns. So grab this, copy the whole column, right click, paste that. And then you're going to go through that, and you're going to do it for each and every column that you need. So because I know that I need fantasy points and projected ownership, I'm going to throw those in there. Because I know that I'm going to need salary, I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there. And then we need team as well. So we can throw that in there. Oops. There you go. All right. And then if you were going to need to put in your contest CSV, you would just copy and paste the entire thing, columns A through I, and then right click on A on A1 and then just paste that whole thing. You can do the same thing for the fan tool contest CSV. So once you have things loaded in, you need to choose what format you have. So it can either be regular, DraftKings Showdown, or FanDuel Showdown. For the purpose of this, we're going to be looking at Showdown, and then we're going to load it into the Portfolio Manager. So uh, as you can see here, we have a couple different things. I'm going to show you all of your lineups here. Uh, if you choose that you want to view the lineups in terms of the export file that you entered, you can go to Export and then Reload the Portfolio, and then it will show you how things would look in your export. I'm going to reload just the names. So as you can see, it's going to be automatically sorted by projection, highest to lowest. Uh, you'll be able to see the price of your lineup, like salary used. You'll be able to see the floor, the projection, the ceiling, and the ownership. I didn't enter any floor or ceiling projections, so it's going to be blank on those. Over here, you're going to see a couple of different things. So you're going to see the salary threshold, projection threshold, own percentage threshold, the own percentage type, and the key player for smart trim. You're also going to see a couple different buttons here, and then down here you're going to be able to see the exposures of your entire portfolio. So up here, the salary threshold is going to allow you to trim all these lineups that only fit a certain salary threshold. So say that you only wanted lineups that were 49,000 or more. All right, you'd press that, and then you would go to trim thresholds. And now we're only seeing things that are 49,000 or more and then you reload the portfolio if you want to start over. It's worth noting that this trim thresholds button is going to trim based on all these thresholds. So say that you only wanted lineups that were 49,000 or more, and at most were 170% ownership. So you do that, and then trim, and then it's going to get rid of anything that is over 170% owned and, and under 49,000. Then reload, mm -hmm. and do the same thing with all of those. Uh, the key player for Smart Trim is the new thing that we added in here. And what this is going to allow you to do is trim only the lineups that contain this player, or you can select none. So the Smart Trim for this is the, is the you know, main purpose of this tool. What Smart Trim does is it compares the projection and ownership of lineups and removes any lineups that have a higher ownership than the projected lineup above them. So um, what that means is this top lineup is projected for 73.78 at an ownership of 168.26. The next one is projected a little bit lower and also has a little bit lower ownership, so this one would stay. This one 
projected at 73.5, a little bit lower ownership, or a little bit lower projection, a little bit lower ownership. And then we run into this one. So what it's gonna to wanna to do is it's gonna say, okay, we know that the last projection that we looked at was 73.5, and the last ownership that we looked at was 163.27. If this ownership is higher than this ownership, the last ownership that we looked at, like the lowest ownership that we look at, then it's going to wanna to remove that lineup because the ownership is too high for the drop in projection. If we have a drop in projection, we want to have a drop in ownership as well. So what that's going to look like is if you end up saying, and we'll put this back down to 40,000. We'll put this high back up to 500. What that's going to look like is when you hit Smart Trim, it's only going to give you lineups that drop in projection and drop in ownership. So we can go ahead and hit that. It will run for a second. And as, and as you can see here, the ownership continues to go down, the projection goes down. Now, if we reload this and we put in a key player for the smart trim, it's only going to look at the lineups that have those players and trim for those. So right here, let's say that we go with, let's see, Najee Harris, right? So Najee Harris, we have 77% ownership for him. So this is gonna affect quite a bit of them. But what it's gonna wanna do is it's gonna look for Najee Harris in the flex, and it's going to run this calculation for only the lineups that contain him in the flex. So it's, it should ignore this lineup, it should ignore these lineups, it should ignore this lineup, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And as you can see, it did. So these Najee Harris captain lineups were not affected, but the ones where he was in the lineup as a flex, like these ones, they're going to continue that trend of lower ownership and lower projection. So you're going to want to be using this to trim down your lineups. You're going to want to put in a whole bunch of lineups if you have them, trim them down to only the lineups that are plus EV and looking good in that smart trim function. Um, you're going to be able to use this to trim through, like say that you did that trim for Najee Harris. Originally we had 77.14% of him. If we smart trim, then we can see now that we only end up with 38.46% of him. Now our highest exposure is Jacoby Brissett. So being able to look at those things, it's a really cool tool. I use it every single day for showdown. Um, and I'm using it for main slate starting this week as well because of this added functionality. If you guys have any questions on stuff like this, you can reach out to me at paydirt underscore DFS on Twitter or james at theoryofdfs.com through email. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I hope that you guys make a whole bunch of money with these tools.